You know Mary E. Walter Sr. Company for identifying and making parts. But what if we don't know what the part is? Well, then we can still make it for you. Let us show you how and give you a little history. After the Industrial Revolution, manufacturing boomed and standardization of parts became the norm. The draftsmen during the middle of the 20th century were still using the same hand tools of the 19th century. Pencils and draft paper, rulers, straight edge, protractors, and more. Before the dawn of CNC machines, each part was a combination of math and science and still work of art, meticulously crafted by hand. Manual machine lathes turned the metal as the machinist applied just the right amount of pressure and finesse. But as time evolved, so did the machining process. The transition from hand-drawn designs to precise digital blueprints using computer-aided drawing software, CAD, marked a new era of innovation. Today, the technology of CAD allows for design development, alteration, and optimization for a more precise design that can also be manipulated virtually. All of this technology then goes into the crafting of the mechanical drawing for the machinist. These mechanical drawings and 3D models are what assist the machinist in creating the CNC program. CNC, standing for Computer Numerical Control, is the language, the G code, the M code, that the computer uses to command the machine to tell it the feeds speeds, and axes it needs to move on to make the parts we create. If the part is overly complicated, there are times when computer-aided machining, CAM, is necessary to be able to generate the code for the tool pathways. The CAM software can figure the trigonometry faster than we can when using a calculator and calipers. The CAM software uses the solid model produced with the CAD software. If the part is not complicated and you're not going to need CAM software, then the machinist writes the program by hand, creating the lines of code by manually typing it out on the computer. After all that code is generated, either by hand or with CAM, then comes the hours of setup. Collets, bar pushers, guide bushings, and all the work holding have to be changed. The tooling is also going to have to be removed, changed, or inspected. This tooling includes things like threading inserts, brooches, boring bars, drills, turning and grooving inserts, and more. Setups can take anywhere from one to eight hours depending on the complexity of the part. Once the machine is set up and the part is run, it is time for a first article inspection. This is necessary to ensure the quality and the accuracy of the parts that are going to be run. Today, the fusion of traditional craftsmanship with the advanced technology allows us to bring even the most complex parts to life, from blueprint to final product. But we're still not done. Seldom are the things we make just one piece. What you just saw was only one component of a multi-piece part. During the assembly process, we use mechanical schematics to accurately fit together these parts. This way, we're not just relying on memory or tribal knowledge to ensure the proper function of our parts. Water testing is also something that can be a part of the process, especially with complicated parts like ceramics, pressure balancing, and thermostatic partitions. Sometimes innovation even means creating what doesn't yet exist, like custom valve bodies for testing, ensuring each new part performs flawlessly. Manufacturing is an art, encompassing not just the creation of a part, but ensuring its perfection through detailed scheduling, routings, and testing. We want to emphasize that we created detail process to ensure the quality of what we produce matches the expectation of our customers and the end users. Without it, we would be making parts that don't look or work like the original. This attention to detail and the processes we put into it are why we stand behind our product. At Barry Walter Senior Company, it's our dedication to detail that sets us apart. This is a path paved by generations deeply engrossed in our craft, a legacy for craftsmanship for years to come. We don't just make parts, we craft solutions. Because at the end of the day, it's not just about what we make, it's about what we make possible.